In this lecture, we will discuss the gate previous problem on crashing of a project. Here given the four activities P, Q, R and S with normal duration, predecessor activity and cost slope. Moreover, here it is given the normal cost of a project and the overhead cost. If the project duration has to be crashed down to 9 days, then the what is the total cost of the project? Let us see the solution. First to write down the given data. Here the data is given normal cost that is the 10,000. Overhead cost is the 200 rupees per day. Project duration has to be crashed down to 9 days. Step 1 is find the normal critical path and identify the critical activities. This is the network diagram for the given activities and possibility path are the PQ and PRS. Duration for the path PQ is the 3 plus 7 that is 10 days and duration for the path PRS is the 12 days that is 3 plus 4 plus 5 equal to 12 days. Among these two paths maximum duration is 12 days for the path PRS. So critical path is the PRS and critical activities are the P, R and S activities. Step 2 is calculate the cost slope for the different activities and have to give the rank. In general formula for the cost slope is crash cost minus normal cost divided by normal time minus crash time. Anyhow, in the data here it is given the cost slope for the various activities. Then I have to rank it. First I have to give the first to rank for the minimum value. So here minimum value is the 100 for the activity Q. Then I have to give the rank 1 for the activity Q. Next to minimum value is the 200 for the activity S, yes. then I have to give the rank 2 for activity S. Yes. Next to value is the 400 for activity R, I have to give the rank 3 for activity R. Next one is the activity P, I have to give the rank 4. Next step is by crashing the activities on the critical path, other paths also become critical and are called the parallel path. Here two paths are available that is the path PRS duration is 12 days. Similarly one more path is the PQ duration is 10 days. Here we have to crash it down to 9 days which means we have to do the crashing for the 3 days. Let us start the crashing. This is the total cost without crashing. So total cost is the normal cost plus overhead cost plus crashing cost. So initially we are not doing the any cost and the critical path is the PRS and duration is the 12 days. Then the indirect cost will become the 12 days into overhead cost is the 200 that is the 2400. Then the total cost will become the normal cost that is the 10,000 plus overhead cost that is the 2400 equal to the 12,400. So first we have to crash the activity S yes, because it is the lies on the critical path PRS yes, and having the minimum cost slope value compared to the another critical activities that is the P and R. So first we have to start with the crashing for the activity S yes, for the one day. Then the duration will become the 11 days. Then crashing cost here doing the only one day crashing. Then the one day into Crashing cost, observe the cost slope for the activity S yes, that is the 200, one day into 200 that is the 200. Then the indirect cost will become the 11 days into overhead cost that is the 200. 
So indirect cost will become the 2200. Then the total cost will become normal cost plus crashing cost plus indirect cost that is 10,000 plus 200 plus 2200. It is the 12,400. So next we have to do the crashing for the activity S yes, another day. So then the time duration will become the 10 days. Then crashing cost will become the 2 days. So initially we did the 1 day that is the crashing cost is 200. Here once again doing the crashing for the activity S. Yes. So that is the 200 plus 1 into 200. Total will become the 400. Indirect cost is the 10 days into the overhead cost 200. It is the 2000. Then total cost will become the 10,000 plus 400 plus 2000. It is the 12,400. So after the crashing the critical path up to the 10 days, then path PQ time duration also equal to the critical path. So here observe after the crashing PRS path up to the 10 days, then the time duration for the PRS that is the critical path and one more path PQ path are equal. Then the another path that is the PQ path we are calling as the parallel path. So in this condition we have to crash the critical path and also crash the parallel path. So in the critical path crash the activity S. Yes. In the parallel path we have to crash the activity Q because it is having the minimum cost to slope value compared to the so another activity P. So first we have to crash the so PRS path so another one day that is the minimum cost to slope have value having the S activity so S activity another day. So then the cost to, uh, crashing cost will become the 400 plus another one day into 200, 600. So simultaneously we have to do the, so crashing for the another activity that is the Q. So another one day. So here crashing cost previously that is a 600 plus one day for the activity Q and the cost slope value for the activity Q is the 100. Then 600 plus 1 into 100 it is the 700. And indirect cost will become the 9 days into overhead cost that is the 200, that is the 1800. Then the total cost will become the 10,000 plus 700 plus 1800, that is the 12,500. So in the problem it is asked for, we have to find out the total cost for the up to the crash down of 9 days. So here we completed crashing up to the 9 days, then the total cost value is the 12,500. So, answer is the 12,500. That is the total cost after the crashing of the night is. Thank you.